Welcome to this short video overview of how to best install the 3D Solid Scanner. Detailed instructions can be found in the manual. Precise installation of the 3D level scanner is crucial for proper performance, accurate results, and trouble-free operation over time. In choosing the proper location, you should consider every aspect of the vessel shape, filling points, and type of materials being stored. We strongly recommend using the Scanner Locator PC software to find the optimal mounting locations. If you can't find a suitable solution or have any questions, please contact customer support at any time. We're here to help. The 3D Solid Scanner needs to be directed toward the center of the vessel. If mounting with a standpipe, leave at least 0.4 inches 10 millimeters, for the antenna to stick out. Make sure that nothing is interfering with the acoustic signal. The scanner should be located with a clear line of sight to the material high point. Position the horns perpendicular to the ground. Use the recommended cable glands and make sure the cable connection is sealed. The 3D solid scanner should be grounded for protection. Make sure 24 volt DC power supply is available with at least 1.5 watts per device. The 3D solid scanner is comprised of the body which includes three horns, transducers and a temperature sensor, and the head which includes the electronic board and all wiring connections. Before installing the 3D solid scanner, an installation plan should be prepared. Verify existence of the O-rings. Remove the nut from the neck tube using an 18-inch wrench. Place flange over the neck thread. Replace the nut and tighten it. Unscrew the rear panel from the scanner head using a 4mm hex key. The screws will not come out. Remove the cable clamp. Gently insert the antenna cable through the scanner's neck. The head may be installed in six different positions. Push the head all the way down until it fully touches the top of the neck threads. Tighten the front screw using a 4mm hex key and a 13mm open wrench. Replace the cable clamp. Carefully connect the antenna cable. Leave the scanner open to complete the wiring. Loosen the compression nut of the cable gland entry. Insert the cable. Strip the wires and insert the edges into the terminals according to the wiring plan. Connect the ground terminal. Before reattaching the rear panel, tighten the compression nut and make sure the sealing ring completely wraps the cable. Turn on the scanner and wait for the main screen to appear. To set the scanner address, scroll to polling address option in the main menu using the plus button and press E to continue. Set the address from 00 to 63 using the plus and minus buttons and then press E to save. The 4 to 20 milliamper line is connected directly from the scanner to a PLC or DCS. The 3D Solid Scanner allows a computer to communicate with a scanner or multiple scanners using a single RS-485 connection to the computer running the software. For multiple scanners, connect the scanners in a daisy chain and configure each scanner with a different polling address. The RS-485 bus can also be converted to TCP-IP communication. Contact technical support for assistance on the proper TCP-IP converter to use. Neck extensions lower the scanner body below obstructions, such as standpipes or support beams, which might block the acoustic signals. That's all. For additional information, visit our website.